Hello everybody, it's Bernadette here, Simply Be Art, where art is an act of random therapy. Thank you for joining me again for another video. Today I'm going to be attempting a flip cup pour. And I hope you're going to enjoy the results. Stay with me. My colors are white, burnt umber. I've got a bright orange, black, cerulean blue and a Naples yellow. So let me fill the cups. I'm going to start with the white. Each one of my colors except the white has got three drops of silicone oil in them because in a flip cup pour you want to get some cells. So I'm going to put a layer of white. I'm always losing my white in my flip cup pours and so I really want to sandwich them I think. Sandwich the colors between the white. And let's see what that's going to give me. That's the white. I'm going to do another layer white. This is the burnt umber. This burnt umber feels thick. But I'm still going to go with it. The last time I did a flip cup pour, my two of my metallic colors were so thin. It ran away from the other colors. But I still got a beautiful result. So I've mixed my paints a little thicker this time. I've used 60 grams of paint to 90 grams of my pouring medium. And my pouring medium is just glue and water. And if you want to see how I mixed that up, it's in video number 7. I'm going to go easy on the black. I don't, I just want a, a hint of black in this flip cup. I don't want a lot of black. The black can take over. Cerulean blue, I love this color. It's absolutely stunning. All my paints are from Dala. Dala is a local arts and crafts supply company in South Africa. You can check out their website and they also have a Facebook page. This is the Naples yellow. And I'm going to do another layer. So the second layer I'm going to fast forward. So there you have it. My cups are all mixed up and I'm going to flip these cups over now. Wish me luck. Well done. Give that a few, half a minute, a few seconds to, to settle down. I've got my torch handy to torch. You always keep some wet wipes for your hands. Okay, let's flip this over. Here goes. That wasn't a good flip. So I left so much paint in this cup. But look at those cells. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow, those colors are amazing. Oh. Where's my white? I hope that white stays there. I'm just going to pour the extra paint along the edges. You tend to... You tend to tilt that off in any case. Just to give my edges a little bit of coverage. 
Oh my goodness, look at that cells. <laughs> All right, let's just leave this that side. Now, I'm not even going to torch this because there are so many cells on this canvas. But what I want to do is just give it a, a moment or two just to, to merge. And then I'm going to... I'm not going to go for the corners like I did the last time. I'm going to go straight over the top edge and then I'm going to bring it down, check the composition and then I'm going to tilt off what, it's, what I don't want. So let's just back and forth like Julie teaches us. Back and forth, walk it back and forth until you get over the edge, which is what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to walk it back and forth, back and forth until I get to the bottom edge. I still find one of the paints is very thin. Let's walk this right off. There we go. Now I want to get, oh, let me get it off the side, that corner first. This painting is very, very busy, very, very busy. side I love that corner okay let me bring it down to this corner I love doing Dutch pours because there's so little mess and paint running off your canvas in a Dutch pour. I think you have so much more control over the amount of paint that you are using in a Dutch pour. However, I love this technique and I love that the results are so unpredictable. You just don't know what you're going to get. But the amount of paint that you use is so much more than if you were doing the Dutch pour technique. But I love this technique. I just want to get this corner. I'm not happy with that corner. So let me turn the canvas and get some paint off of that end there. not moving as much it's moving very very slowly but I want to get that mustardy green color off uh -huh. nearly there nearly there nearly there there we go right now I hope I haven't overstretched it let's bring it back to the center I'm trying to keep you in focus and move the paint. Oh wow, there's so many colors in here. I'm going to torch it now. I don't know what to make of this. Let me torch it and then see what results I get. Let's 
Así. So I don't know about you, but I'm not really happy with the results of this flip cup, the way it is right here. And I think this painting can become something so much more. So I'm going to swipe over this and I'm going to create a spring garden instead. So what would I do? I have an extra cup of white paint mixed up 60 grams of paint to 90 grams of pouring medium and I'm going to use this as my swipe color and I'm going to pour a layer right at the top of the canvas and then I'm going to swipe down now in order to swipe I've got my roller tissue paper and I'm going to dampen it down with some tap water. Just spray the tissue paper with the tap water. Just to, the water creates some weight on the paper so that it has a nice hold on the canvas with the rest of the paints. I'm going to lay this tissue paper right on the white paint and then I'm going to drag that white layer of paint down over the rest of the, the paint that's already on the canvas. Just pull it nicely down, take a step back and lean on your back foot. Don't lift it off until you get to the very end of your canvas and it just slides off gently. And look at those beautiful cells popping up there. I'm just going to tilt this a bit so that I get that top edge off. Now I'm going to create some flowers and to do that I'm going to put a drop of Payne's Grey and then a drop of acrylic white and I'm going to blow petals with those so four petals That's four petals. I'm going to use the trusty blow tube. Now I'm going to add my pop of color on top of that. Just a dot of color. And then I'm going to blow that again. And that's my petal. And I'm going to continue with that now. 
I want beautiful petal here. One, two, three, and four. And then the white. Blow that out first. And then you put your pop of color. I'm going to use the cerulean blue for this one. Just one pop, just a dot, a dot of color. Let me bring it down for a close-up. So if you are not happy with the result of your pull, there's always an alternative. I've turned a flop, flip cup into a super swipe. And I've created a spring garden. I like this result now. I'm happy with it. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Like and share. And if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching everybody. Take care. Stay well. Bye for now.